Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you both for being here today. It is clear the country is facing an affordable housing crisis. High interest rates and inflation paired with soaring construction costs and low inventory have put home ownership further and further out of reach for hardworking Americans. This crisis, in my opinion, has only been intensified by Bidenomics. This administration's reckless tax and spend policies, overregulation, and misguided partisan efforts that prioritize things like the Green New Deal, or like my colleague Senators Haggerty and Vance pointed out, DEI programs, over the safety and soundness of our housing market and our economy. Today, regulatory costs make up nearly 24% of a new home's price. Homelessness hit an all-time high in 2023, despite HUD receiving record funding specifically to address this very issue. Not only is home ownership more out of reach, but not a single state in the country even has an adequate supply of affordable rental housing for low-income families. I could go on. There are real problems facing real people and we have to focus on real solutions. Unfortunately, what we've seen from this administration is fast tracking and politicizing regulatory actions that actually risk putting the economy at greater risk. And on that, Director Thompson, in a hearing last May, you said, quote, you are committed to making sure that pilots are public and that people know that there is more transparency going on in Fannie and Freddie, end quote. So my question for you is, is there a reason that your agency changed paths, so to speak, and did not go through the public notice or comment period before issuing the recent title insurance pilot program? Thank you for the question. And first, I'd like to say that safety and soundness grounds everything that we do. We do not compromise safety and soundness. I'm a longtime regulator. Thank and you when, for reiterating that. Well, just want to make sure that that is the foundational understanding. With regard to the uh, title pilot, uh, we do have a pilot, a pilot transparency page. We received the pilot from Fannie Mae, and the pilot, we don't, wasn't, just in time for the, is this just in time for the State of the Union right before that? Well, the pilot was, we went through our normal process and the pilot went through analysis. We didn't do anything different or anything wrong. So is there, are you going to consider actually um, allowing the public some time to comment on that? Well, we are, we need to, the pilot hasn't been operationalized yet. We are still uh, in the process of searching for a vendor to help digitize and try to figure out how they can access the title records. The uh, Fannie Mae is going to issue a solicitation to multiple vendors okay. to provide and, this And service. make sure I'm, we're talking about sure. the same thing. Yeah. This applied to certain low risk, yeah, low risk refinances. Um, refinances. Mm -hmm. So current homeowners, so this isn't yes. gonna help with people who That's are correct. not currently homeowners That's and correct. want to kind of achieve that American dream. It's just, um, Okay, okay, so, well, you finalized, your agency did its products and activities rule, which my understanding was meant to bring transparency to new initiatives, um, but it seems that that isn't going alongside this actual yeah. initiative. Yeah, this came in as a credit underwriting decision because what the pilot actually will do is waive the requirement for representation. Okay which is similar to what we've done. And with I'm so sorry, I only have one minute, but I, if you would commit to just making Absolutely. sure that there's public comment period and, no. and we have the opportunity to weigh in. Um, Mrs. Todman, I wanna shift my focus. Thank you so much for, for being here today. I understood you um, You have been in the housing space and you look at the, you were included in the moving to work program, but obviously when the pandemic hit, um, they we decided or HUD decided to postpone that program. Would you recommit to actually re-engaging now that the pandemic is over to help people um, really not only get on their feet, but have an opportunity to, to actually succeed. Yeah. Senator, you'll, you'll be happy to hear that we have been working um, um, quickly and urgently to carry out Congress's mandate to expand the moving to work agencies. Excellent. And we, we completed that task uh, just two weeks ago. Good, because I believe if you're an able-bodied, working-aged American without dependents, you know, working, training, volunteering, um, it, it is to receive 
receive government benefits, that there's a dignity that goes along with that. And in my last few seconds, I just wanted to briefly underscore the magnitude of debt-funded multifamily loans that will be needed, uh, that will need to be refinanced over the next couple of years, um, but can't at the current interest rate. So I just would like to work with you and urge you both to revisit the enterprise regulatory capital framework and its lack of counter-cyclical adjustments for multifamily. Um, my staff will follow up with you, but I look forward to working with you both. Thank you. Thank you.